Hey you guys, good morning and welcome back to another reading. This is going to be a blackout message, okay? So I hope you guys don't mind the screen being black. You can just simply listen, okay? Let's see what's going on here with Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. What's here, Holy Spirit, for my Divine Feminine and my Divine Masculines? I heard breaking the change. Breaking the chains. I was going to say breaking the change. Here and now, huh? Breaking the change. I wonder what that means. You're you're beginning to do something new here. You're gonna be guided to do something new, but to not say anything about it, just to do it. Uh, you know how uh introduction. I heard you don't need no introduction. Okay, so whoever you are, oh, you have definitely been building something for a while, and whatever it is that you do, you can pretty much do anything. You can add on or take off anything. And you don't have to tell anybody about this. Like you don't need to announce what you're doing. That's what I just heard here. What's here? So yeah, change in the wind. Wow, the first card that comes out is a change in the wind. So you don't have to tell nobody that you're changing something. I feel like you just need to do it. You're going to be getting uh, many, many downloads about what to do here. Okay? I feel like it's some kind of copy copyright. Um... Yeah, orphan. Spirit is going to have you orphan something and start something else. So you may be taking something out and then incorporating something else at the same time. But it's going to be much, much better. You're cleaning it up. Somebody could be cleaning up their channel, cleaning up their image or something like that. There's some kind of new life energy here. Imagine, thinker. Yeah, so it's something all about your imagination, about your thought process. I'm getting DreamWorks energy here. The movies. Uh, somebody could be seeing a movie this weekend. We Fireflies are significant as well. Somebody's a firefighter. A fireman. Okay. What's here? So, yeah. You don't have to introduce what you're doing. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to. You don't have to tell nobody what you're doing. Like, you ain't got to announce. Say, hey, y'all. I'm going to start doing this. Um, you know, I mean, the feedback afterwards, you can ask people like, hey, um, you know, I guess I, just do whatever you do, introduce this and then wait on the, um, the feedback that you're getting, it seems like. And then I guess if people got suggestions or they want to, they want you to incorporate something regarding this new thing, then you can take that or leave it. You dig a rich kid something like that. Like you can take the advice or leave it but whatever it is it's like you have something down to the T you, you you have perfected something I heard your image speaking something like that somebody definitely is learning another language period I heard the word premium you put in real pressure real gas right here okay higher power there's my dad okay so yang energy is at the bottom of the dead soulmates a lot of you guys right now you're just solely focused on work you're focused on work on creating generational wealth period you're focused on this this is something that nobody can throw nobody can throw you off is what i'm saying there is nobody in the world that's gonna throw you off of course from whatever this is i feel like you've had a lot of people throwing monkey wrenches in your way and that's fine because that's it comes with the journey anybody who's successful will let you know that i mean people be plotting stupid shit or you know it's just always something until you get to that point where you're supposed to be you dig a rich kill but i truly feel divine feminine divine masculine that you're stepping up you're stepping down to step up this energy is coming up again you already built some so this could be a platform that you have already built a platform you already have a following or something and it's like whatever this new thing is that you're doing people are going to love it yeah new life i can't make this up bro whatever you're doing people love it period like they love it they love this shit that you're doing clean it up and buy the book and you're also making legal money you're co-creating with the most high guy you're making legal money okay it's something here about legal money legit money nobody can do nothing about they can't stop your revenue or something i'm seeing an increase an increase in your in your salary an increase in your pay an increase in your net worth okay somebody's name is ashanti desmond okay corey coreana i heard that name in another reading all that glitters milk and honey somebody named brad bradley deep knowing yang here and now patricia 
Stanford, okay? Hartford, Connecticut is significant. Somebody definitely is in Hartford. Or somebody last name is Hartford or something. Happy, happy and building blocks. Bro, I cannot make this up. So you're going to be definitely very happy about the feedback you're getting. It's the feedback from whatever this is. It's because you... The reason why this is working out so beautifully for you, fam, Divine Masculine, is because you persevered. I'm going to just tell you the truth, Aru. It's because you persevered through something. So not only are you bringing a quality product and or a quality service you got the anointing you got the perseverance and everything else the, the story to back it up it's something here that you cannot be denied you can't be rejected because it's something that you uh first of all the most high god created you and he created something for you when you were created you dig so you're fulfilling that creation if that makes any sense who god created you to be the thing that he created you to do you're forming into that is what i'm saying by yourself like you're doing something all alone what's this energy here holy spirit heavenly father thank you so much father god for this i'm telling you bro y'all do not even understand bro journey cornucopia at the bottom of the deck blossoming abundance man holding a coin i seen the storm warming uh storm warning okay and the financial constraints. So this could be after a period of your finances being kind of up and down or something like that. But see, the thing about it is you kept persevering. You kept going through. The flying monkeys was around to try to attack you before you could stop working. These flying monkeys be wanting y'all to stop working and shit, bro. They be wanting you to completely stop doing what you're doing so you cannot create any revenue. That's their. That was their goal. These people wanted you to not make money. How can you not make something that God created for you abundance? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Who does that? Who the heck tries to stand in the way of somebody's money? Like, that's some weird, lame shit. And these folks always get their shit. They always get karma. Trying to stand in front of someone's money and they got children and shit. Y'all bitches are losers. Angel of Strength, Cornucopia. Wow. So, on this journey, you're going to take some kind of action. There's our Angel Michael broken heart yeah our angel michael is stepping on a whole lot of folk jet point blank period i feel like i feel like bruh your spiritual team has cleaned up so much stuff and you don't even recognize it it is so many things that you have dodged like just today you don't even understand today already and it ain't even nothing but eight o'clock already the enemy tried to send some shit your way already you dig a Y'all be moving through this this chaos like it's nothing, bro. I am so proud of you guys, bro. Somebody be somebody be moving through the energy like it's nothing. Rest and rejuvenate. Like when something negative comes up, you bypass it so smoothly. You don't even understand, bro, that you have mastered yourself. And this is why you're able to be in this position. What else is here, Dad? Rest and rejuvenation, the world card. So something is over. Something you ended a cycle and you um went on this journey here, period. Or you could have been on your journey. It's like you have to keep constantly ending cycles. It seems like with people, seem like no matter who you meet, they be full of bullshit fuck. That's what I'm saying. It seems like these people be getting sent to y'all. And you will be wondering, how in the world do these people know me? I'm in this small town or I'm in this place. I just moved over here. I just came from over there. Why are you following me everywhere I go? You, they're agents. You got somebody assigned to block every move that you're making. And they can't block you because they don't know what the most I got is doing. One thing about the enemy, the enemy ain't got no motherfucking gifts, no power, no nothing. That motherfucker only knows how to cause chaos. This motherfucker don't know what God is doing. They don't know. They don't know what God is doing. Nobody knows. Even if you in the upright, you don't know what God is doing, bro. You don't know what God is doing. And even if you feel like you do, what the hell make you think that God can't access some shit to turn that around quickly? To take this person on a detour to still win over you. That's what I be saying. It be the audacity and the disrespect for the father. That be pissing me the fuck off, bro. It really do, shout it. It really, truly pisses me off how people think they can outsmart the most high. Our angel Ariel, I mean Uriel came out here. 
with all these dang on cords that fell, child. Anxiety, the sun, door to personal healing and happiness, and Archangel Chamuel. So you could definitely be healing some kind of anxiety right now. You could have just gotten over some kind of anxiety or there's some kind of anxiety here that's, you know, just being, I guess, I don't know. This shit ain't big victories in the reverse. It's not uh, coming to you successful, uh, successfully either. It seems like somebody wants you on a nine of swords. I'm seeing the eight of swords, the nine of swords, ten of swords, three of swords, five of swords. Damn, this is, this is a lot of communication. It's a lot of people talking spells and shit on your name, talking down on you. Either they're talking down on you now or they the fuck will be. But see, we don't worry about that, right, fam? Masculine, we only worry about what the father has in store for us. Straight the fuck up. And my daddy said, throw it in the bag. What he got in store for you, baby, it's going to be so much, it's going to make your head spin. And it's like you're creating this all on your own, but it's like God is doing. You're a guy, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I'm just trying to tell you, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, bro. I am extremely proud of you guys. I am. Ish. You do not understand how proud of me and we I am, bro. I'm very proud of this energy because it's so much negative shit here, but I just don't even give a fuck to read it, bro. I just truly don't. If I feel like it's a major, major warning, I'm going to let you know, but some little petty bitches and niggas that's going to lose anyway, I don't even care to read that shit, bro, because I'm sick of that shit. Our angel Ariel, and there's the country. You got contracts. You got things, people that want to work with you. A lot of you guys are better off working on your own, because when you get entangled and intertwined with other people, they start getting greedy. They start getting jealous, envious and shit, bro. You don't need nobody working against you if they claim to work with you. And then not only that, being stuck in a fucking contract hell no a lot of y'all don't even realize these hoes and niggas be mad at y'all because they stuck in contracts and you a free motherfucking agent is what they heard child man holding the heart and there's the strategy oh god gonna reveal the instructions to you somebody also was indecisive about walking away but once you did you became the queen of pentacles the king of pentacles this door to value with the storm warning yeah it was something that was attached to you and you had to detach from these illusions, bro. These illusions can have your ass in a whole nother damn world, bro. Being being stuck in an illusion could definitely have you on the wrong side of things. Because you're so fixated on what you believe is going on. Because that's what you see is going on. Our mind over matter. Literally matter. Like somebody's using matter. Literally matter. Like, look up the definition of matter. They're using matter to try to control something. Somebody's an alchemist or something like that. But see, what they don't know is God is the only one, bro. God is the only one that accepts and declines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. So if something has come your way, the Most High God has allowed it. It's because he knows your strength. Building you up. Building your character. Your confidence and things like that. I heard show the world the real you. You don't have no reason to be ashamed of any decision that you made. And you damn sure ain't got to explain to no motherfucking body for no decision that you made. Somebody may try to come and make you feel bad about a decision that you made. Maybe they feel bad about the decision that you made. What part did they play in the decision that you made? You nigga Rushku, man, get the fuck out of here. If y'all folks ain't in somebody's life, it's because they fucked it all up. And I don't care. Because I feel like you can forgive a person and genuinely be with them. If you, because I know my heart, shit, I know any, anytime I've ever forgiven somebody, and if I ever were to be around them ever again, my intentions was never negative. Because I've never had no negative intention for nobody. Trying to set motherfuckers up and shit. I've never done no shit like that. Never. Never. So if, if I can accept you after you apologize to me and I forgive you for something, trust and believe me, I don't have no malice against you in my fucking heart. But see, people don't think like that. And this is exactly why you're better off doing something on your own. Just because people don't make the same moves that you make. You dig a root school? And these hoes and niggas ain't even on your frequency first and foremost when it come to work ethic. These folk don't even got no work ethic you got. That's why you can't work with it. Whoever you with, bro, you don't like waiting on nobody for shit when you you trying to get something done. And even if you ever had to wait on somebody to get something done, it's like you always had to go back and do the shit yourself anyway for it to be right. Like, what's the point of saying we work together when I'm doing all the work? And the work that you did, it was half-assed, so you really didn't even do shit. Half work ain't no work. Half ass shit ain't working at all. That shit half ass. The time you have, the time you take the half ass do some shit, you can just do it the right way because you took time to do the shit. 
What I said. The hell is you doing something for if you gonna half ass do it because you lazy? Don't do the shit at all or do it right. That's just how it's supposed to be. But I mean, you know what I'm saying, fam? That's just a common fucking sense, shouting. Especially when you stamping your name on something. I heard ring around the rosy, the waiting game, bro. When I tell you, bro, y'all folk got so many wins right here. I don't care what nobody say. I just truly know. This is for the people who are in the upright with the most high. That's what I'm saying. These people that are in the upright, the righteous, is the ones that's reaping these motherfucking rewards. Not you karmic bitches and niggas here. You're not getting shit. That's what I'm saying. This is for divine feminine and masculine who ain't been out here stealing and trying to destroy people's fucking life, bitch. Is what I'm saying. I don't give a fuck if it's the teeniest little thing. Sending the evil eye. Bitch, you getting your shit. It's karma time, ho. You ain't getting shit. You're not getting these accolades and shit. It's not for you, bitch. It's for these feminists and masculines who are in the upright. Who ain't got no ill in their fucking heart and mind towards others. The fuck is wrong with y'all people? You don't get rewarded for bad behavior, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? What else is here? Throw chakra here and spiritual strength in the reverse. Yeah, so these hoes and niggas been speaking foul and motherfucking spells and shit on your name and shit. And that shit going right back to them. Ah, what I said, they going right back. It going right to fuck back. Have no fear. My daddy is here at all times. Triumphant success came out. Choose wisely. Heart chakra reverse. Yeah, you need to choose wisely your battles here, I feel. Just always make sure you know your strength. Okay. What else is here? Because if you don't know yourself and you don't know your enemy, you damn near lost. Okay. For real, for real. Destiny, emotional will, draw power in the reverse. Yeah, somebody, man, look, somebody is really feeling the they're they're feeling the heat only because you're in this authority position and they can't disrupt something. So the universe is coming in to take somebody else out and put you somewhere. Period. That's what I said. It's like overnight, you're like an overnight success or something with this this new idea. Like this new idea is going to to man, it's gonna open the hearts, minds to air to a lot of people. I feel like the area now by saying like everybody in them motherfucker gonna know you. I'm hearing world right now. A little birdie told me. So spirit gonna come whisper something in your ear. The only way somebody can fuck this up is if you tell them. Period. That's what I'm saying. The only way anybody will know your plans is if you tell them. And I feel like just keep whatever this is to yourself. Straight up. I heard chocolate drop. Damn masculine you fine. Fam, you fine as hell, sis. Destiny, emotional withdrawal in the reverse. So somebody is very emotional about your destiny. They're bit because they tried to block this. They can't. I mean, I got over a thousand videos telling hoes and niggas that they ain't gonna block you, but okay. <laughs> that what I'm saying, fam, masculine. That what I'm saying. I, I mean, I got over a thousand videos. You can go and check. I got over a thousand videos telling these bitches and niggas they ain't gonna win against y'all. That's just period. Okay, here for real. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low. That's what I'm hearing. Ain't no river wide enough, baby. <laughs> if you need me, call me. No matter where you are, child. <laughs> Positive movement in the reverse. Third eye chakra. Somebody see that they done ran into a brick wall because they done already ran into that motherfucker. What I said. These folks don't ever know where they going to end up until they end up now. They don't never see where the hell they be going with this shit. A person with common sense, bro, certain actions that you take, bro, you got to be very confident in taking them actions, bro, because you either going to succeed or you going to fail. And when you succeed, you going to get one or two results, a negative or a positive one. When you successfully go through with a, a action, it's a positive or a negative effect period bro and when you going at shit in a negative manner you ought to expect a negative fucking result that's it period if you go up to somebody and you take something from that person you successfully take it you better be ready for what that person gonna either a do to you right there or gonna come back and do to your motherfucking ass and if they don't retaliate you need to be worried about karma coming back for your ass that what i'm saying this is just what I'm saying. You got to always know what you doing, bro. You cannot be reacting off of impulse out here. Not, not in 2023. You got to be clear-headed. Mental conflict in the reverse. Like I said, patience in the reverse. Somebody, man, somebody ain't finna get hit. That's what I'm saying. These folks ain't got no gear. They ain't got no equipment. They got no spiritual protection. They ain't got no helmet, no breastplate. They got nothing, bro. 
They don't have anything. They out here bare. And then they bird chest with this shit. They got a bird chest with no breastplate. They have no protection and they finna get the wind knocked out them. That's what I'm saying. That's what happens when you come up against a feminine or a masculine that's divine as fuck chosen and on their per, um, path. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't, you just can't keep doing this to people, you know. And over and over again, I be trying to convince, trying to convince people just to, just mind your business. You ain't got to necessarily just be closed off and caged and contained in your home. And, you know, you don't got to do that. But just mind your fucking business, bitch. You can still be active and social and mind your damn business. You don't have to always be attacking somebody. But, bitch, do as you please. I just be warning you hoes and niggas how you don't have to face these kind of consequences. But people don't listen. So, hey, do what you do. You can't have good without bad anyway. The scales are always going to be balanced. But the light will always win. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And these hoes and niggas don't want you to get in your dark side film masculine. But see, the thing about it is you have messaged yourself. That's the truth, the rule. The truth is at the bottom of this day. You message yourself to where you can take your dark side of you and literally still manifest out of darkness. Because you take pain and you put that shit into your work. You create through your pain, through your fears, through rejection, through shit like that. That's how you create. These people think that they be putting y'all in some kind of um, corner or something. Like they done defeated you. Like you're down. You're injured. You're gone. And that whole time, they don't want to see you get back up. Because they know when you get back up, oh, it's fucking over. They know this shit. Like I said, these hoes and niggas don't never want to give you the controller. They want to play all these games. But when it's time for your controller to get plugged up, charged up, these hoes and niggas don't want to, they don't want to exit out then. They don't want you to play. But see, it's your turn now. These motherfuckers were playing against the computer and shit. Fuck wrong with these people, bro. These people play too many goddamn games out here, bro. Y'all folks is winning. And I don't care what nobody got to say, fam masculine. And I love y'all folks to death, bro, for real. Y'all good people, bro. And y'all don't be deserving the shit that these folks be doing. These folks be stealing and everything from y'all. And then got the nerve to be trying to, to take your life and shit. Man, hell no. Nah. For some damn money. Spiritual union, truth. Spiritual union, truth, and then conflict and defeat. So somebody is going to come together with someone else. I don't feel like you're just sitting around dwelling on a relationship, which you shouldn't be. When you focus on yourself, all this shit going to come to you. I'm just telling you, it's money, a person, and some other shit here. It's a person here, period, and I don't give a fuck. I don't know who the fuck this person could be, but this is your person. The person you ask God for, but in the meantime, in between time, don't just sit around waiting on no fucking body. You need to definitely be still building. Do things for yourself. Get out. Do some shit. Ain't nobody just sitting around worrying about no other individual i hope i hope they come back i hope they come back child please live your motherfucking life honey what else is here somebody out walking their dog somebody dog named poo 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 <laughs> poo poo what else is here new beginnings can't make this up, child. What is it? Man, y'all folk moving the fuck on. And somebody else can't move on. Do what I'm saying. This is why too, why when when the readings come up, these other energies come up because they are so much in y'all's fucking energy. You dig rich kill? Like they are so much in the collective business. Because they are what they doing, what they doing, what they going, what they you know, why, who, what, when, where, and why right here. And these people ain't never focused on themselves. This is why folks is always in y'all business. Cause whoever you is, I don't even feel like you fuck with many. I don't feel like you deal with many people right here, bruh. I just truly don't. And it's it's these people that's around you that's jealous and shit. That been jealous. Shit, y'all got people in y'all in y'all business from 15 down there 20 years ago. Came across your um, profile or something, and then they start stalking you, telling other motherfuckers that y'all went to school with what you doing in life. Oh, y'all heard about the collective? Oh, y'all ain't seen what they doing? Y'all go over there. They made fun of you at first, but now these hoes and niggas learning from you. What I said. At first, they were making fun of you. Now these hoes and niggas gonna learn from you. Man, get the fuck out of here, bruh. That's what I say. Shut the fuck up. I always talking shit about somebody. That's what I'm saying. Shut the fuck up. You never know who someone is. You just need to shut the fuck up because you're going to always get proven wrong. 
It's so many people with egg on their face. Sausage and biscuits on their fucking face. Literally. Looking dumb as fuck. It's a whole food fight these hoes and nigga done had with Spirit. Spirit done through the whole tray at these hoes and nigga face. They look so dumb from the shit that they were talking about you. Because now everybody looking like, yo, that ain't even correct. Whatever you said about your person, ain't even, that's not true. You nigga reach you, motherfuckers. What else is here for Divine Feminine Masculine with y'all winning asses here? Y'all some winning motherfuckers, bro. All y'all folk know how to do it when, bro, y'all folk couldn't lose if you gave up. What I said. What the fuck I just said, fam? Masculine, y'all folk couldn't lose if you gave up. Because God ain't finna allow you to give up, bro. Somehow or another, when even when you feel at your lowest, God come through and give you a boost. Period. And it always come out of nowhere like, how am I going to do this? How am I going to accomplish this? And then next thing you know, you're accomplishing some shit that you didn't even think you had to take on. Because you already not got through that obstacle. Now you working on something completely different. Look around. I promise you, it's something that somebody said like, bro, it's no way I can do this by myself. And you doing it, ain't you? Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all folks get your strength from the most high, bro. Y'all ain't got y'all hand out to nobody. The wealthy man coming out. Y'all ain't got y'all hand out to no one, bro. I feel like somebody's going to give somebody a lot of money. I heard 20000 Damn. Y'all folks playing with some real paperwork right here. Somebody wants to gift you money or something like that. Somebody really thinks highly, highly of you or this could be something that they want to invest in your business or something. But this is like no strings attached. This person don't want nothing from you. Seem like they just want to gift you some. This could even be a family member of yours that you didn't know had a lot of money. It's something right here where somebody wants to gift you something. They wants to give you something. I heard Prima Donna. Somebody name could be Donna, okay? Karen, Sharon, Shannon, Jacqueline, Jackie, Distant Horizons. So something is going to last you for a very long time, bro. When I tell you your kids, 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 kids going to have money, you are the only person that's creating as well. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You're creating. You're, you have to do something alone because you, have, you can't be distracted from your mission. Because you being around these people, they would distract you from what you're building because they would be so jealous, so hateful and spiteful doing little shit that you wouldn't see come like you would see it coming, but you wouldn't see why. So you will end up getting frustrated and then thrown off course. So that's why you have to do something on your own. Thief and then give. Even after these hoes and niggas been stealing shit from y'all, bro, y'all folks still rise. You still rising. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't even matter, Divine Feminine Masculine. This is why I tell you, because I see uh, things that you may not be able to and or feel, and I see it, bro. And I don't even know y'all who fold out. I'm trying to tell you, bro, you have some major things that's going on, bro. When I tell you y'all fold whole year finna be lit and the rest of the years to come, it's gonna be lit. You already done left your mark somewhere. And where you left your mark, you finna start trailblazing through this motherfucker. Now you finna, you left a mark in one place. And you known for that. Oh, you finna take off all around the fucking world right here. Now it's word of mouth. It seemed like word of mouth is 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 giving you clout or something. It's just people talking about something that you're doing. It's like something we never seen before. And I don't know what this could be. That's between you and your spiritual team. You dig a root skew, fam, masculine? Don't ever go outside of yourself to try to find answers because you already got them. I'm just confirming this shit and boosting you up. I'm your hype man. That's all that is. Y'all folks already know what's going on, bro. You already know the most I got right there within you. So you need to always be speaking to God. Poverty in the reverse of you got studying well, bro. Your energy is not poverty. That's what I'm trying to say. So why the hell these hoes and niggas is trying to project this shit onto you? These folk bloodline bullshit, not yours. And then shit, folks in your bloodline some bullshit too. But your bloodline overall is not no bullshit. That's what I'm saying. You got a few bad apples. You got a few false people here. Maybe eight false motherfuckers right here. But that's all right. That's okay. Somebody also going to jail. They finna get snatched out of the damn community. Okay. About some unexpected income. They were stealing this shit. We know this already, bro. We know. We know these folks be stealing this shit. We know this. But see, the thing about it is, these folks want to know what you know. They want to know exactly what you know. Every single detail that you know about some. I don't feel like you going to reveal that to them. If you were smart, you wouldn't. You're not going to reveal to nobody exactly what you know. That don't even make no sense. Because it's like giving the enemy your damn blueprint. Giving the enemy your um 
You know, that shit, and it's so crazy, bro. Like, why the hell motherfuckers got to live their life to, to make sure they ain't, you know, giving the enemy information or some shit like that? Like, who the fuck should have to think like that all the time? But it's a, it's, it's a case where you do. Y'all folks just cannot trust anybody, bro. When I tell you, nobody in your life can be trusted. No fucking body. And I don't care who they may be, bro. Because, get what? You don't never know. Who try to use your family members and friends and shit to come against you. They'll bribe these people with their own past. Or bribe them with money and luxury and shit like that. They'll jeffer information about you. And these folk, they'll never ask why. They'll never say, well, why you need that information? They'll just take the offer. These folk weak-minded and they're ducks. Period. They losers. They lames. They'll never ask these folk why. Why the hell you want information on my folk? Why you want, why you need to know where my sister stay? Why you need to know what my brother work at? Why you need to know what they're doing? Why you need to know? Why? They would never ask why. They'll just accept fucking offers. They'll accept that shit. And you can't, you can't stop them from being naive or, you know, not being able to use discernment. You can't blame them. So the, what, what can you do? Protect your goddamn self. That's all you can do, shawty. And in this case, protecting yourself is just keeping your shit to your, keeping your business to yourself. That's your period. Occupation and community. See, that's what I'm saying. You are a community leader or something. You are a community leader, bro. A trailblazer, bro. You're meant to be doing something completely different. And it's so crazy the way that God works. And the way that God move, God is so powerful, bro. It's gonna appear that you have, bro. It's, it's it's you're standing alone. You're doing something alone. Ain't nobody helping you do anything. This is what I'm saying. Whoever you are, whatever this is that you're doing, it you, you're doing it by your damn self. That's what I'm saying. You're doing this shit by yourself with the help of no motherfucking body. And I don't feel like you need nobody help either. These people will just help you run shit into the ground. You dig real for real. Courthouse in the reverse. So somebody had, man, little judgment ain't going in somebody's favor right here. Somebody thought that they were going to get something in particular. They're not getting shit. Okay? Or this is you, motherfuckers. They're not receiving this. They're not worthy of this. Whatever the fuck they thought they were getting, they're not. And it's so funny. Like I said in another reading, these hoes and niggas be stealing hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, houses, cars, all this shit. And then they be broke the same motherfucking year. Meanwhile, you're over here building a legacy. Meanwhile... Because you were supposed to use this inheritance money or whatever the fuck this is for you to keep creating off of that. But see, you're building something and you're creating something at the same time. Y'all folk can get up on any given day and do what the fuck you want by the grace of the most high. And that's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. You're extremely blessed. So don't ever look at yourself like you're lacking anything or you're behind or, you know, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is impossible. No, don't think like that, bro, because God is working. With God, anything is possible. And see, the thing about it is, if you're still here, you got to know that he's doing something. You either in a position to be getting good karma or bad karma, period, bro. You get what the fuck you give. And I don't understand how people don't get that. You steadily out here doing fucked up shit and then you're expecting to get praise. Oh, well, you want to be praised for doing some fucked up shit. Okay. No, that's not going to work like that. Maybe last life, maybe in another life that might have happened. But this time, no, it's not. God said that thing you've been running from, run towards it. Okay, what I said. Whatever fear that you may have had, release that shit and overcome it and move on. Because it may be something else in the future that you may fear, you know, uh, or find out that you're fearful of. It's, we got some fears that we don't even know we got. You nigga real skill? You never know you scared and you never know you strong until you're in a position to be scared or strong. What I said, child. I'm going to get one of these cards and I'm going to uh, leave it here. I heard the almighty, the almighty child. Look, y'all got God on y'all side, bro. Y'all folks should definitely walk around with a lot of confidence. There should be nothing in this world that got you doubting anything. Because the most high here, that's what I'm saying. Real boss daddy energy right here. Big daddy. My daddy ain't finna play with nobody with nothing. Especially when it uh, concerns you. And you're not even bothering nobody. Do you know what I'm saying? This is why people be getting their head took off. 
like they come trying to fuck with you because they feel like you're alone. And then they be in for the ride of their damn life. Okay, show Anything else here, daddy? And this dick. Yeah, drama starter. So some they say they drama star energy. Somebody gonna bring a somebody gonna bring a lot of drama to you about something that you're doing because they don't like the method that you're using, is what I heard. It's a certain method that you're using to teach or to get your point across or something like that. And they're they're not gonna like it. This is somebody that may be old school. They may do things in a traditional way or something like that. And you're just you're 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 shifting you're shifting the um expectations is what i just heard you're shifting you're doing something different you're different so you got somebody here that's gonna try to come and bring down everything you're doing i'm just telling you ahead of time they're gonna definitely start a lot of drama and they're gonna have a whole lot of yes men behind them because they simply don't like the way you're doing something they don't like you and they don't like the way you're doing something and they don't like the position that the most high god has placed you in they don't like this so what? They don't like God. What I said, if you don't like me, bitch, you don't like my dad, ho. And that just is what it is. And I don't care how the fuck you try to look at it. Because first of all, what the fuck you sitting back judging me for? I'm not judging you. I don't know you and I don't give a fuck what you're doing. If I don't like something that you're doing because it's presented to me, I'm simply going to move past you and not give you no energy. Because I'm not, I don't like that shit. I'm not interested. What the fuck? Who the fuck pays attention to some shit that they're not interested in? That don't even make no damn sense. Y'all bankrupt. But see, soon as these hoes and niggas come starting this shit, they gonna get their shit through their finances. They gonna lose everything. I'm just trying to tell you, bro. Y'all folks being tested a whole lot. And it's only because of all these good things that you got right here, bro. I'm just trying to tell you. So whatever this whatever this download is that Spirit has already given you or about to give you, just be paying attention because it's going to be a sudden shift. It's not going to be something just strenuous that you're going to have to do. It's going to be a quick motion, a quick thing that you do, a quick change. And it's going to bring about a lot of change, a lot of healing. I heard a lot of mending, a lot of reflection. People need to learn to look at their damn self. That's what I'm saying. Instead of paying you so much attention, they need to be looking at they self. They need to redirect the anger that they feel towards you back to where it came from originally, which was inside of them. They want to get the anger out of them, but to throw it the fuck on you. No, bitch, you need to take that anger and make it into positivity. Transmute that shit, bitch, because it's within you, honey. It's not within this person. Anything else here? That projection of motherfucker, I can't stand up projecting that hoe when you sitting over here hustling and minding your goddamn business. These folks block their wolves and sheep's clothing, period. Somebody also trying to threaten someone. Yeah, okay, bitch. You ain't got to threaten. Do the shit, bitch. Do it. Do what you feel you need to do. What the fuck you threatening someone for? Just do it. The hell? Who cares? You mad. You're jealous. These are jealous people because they can't steal from you, copy you, duplicate you, and feed off of you. Everything you do, these hoes and niggas try to do the same shit, but then they go around and talk all that bullshit for. Oh, okay. Man, get the fuck out of here. You are a trendsetter is what they heard. Somebody that ain't trendy. Now, that's a trendy topic. I'm hearing trendy topic by future. I swear that man, got, that man got so many damn crazy ass titles to his songs. Because the some of the, some of the uh, readings, I'll hear his songs, but I'll literally hear the um the title of the song but i can hear the song too and it's always relevant to what the hell i'm talking about it is so fucking crazy that is very crazy okay tyler the creator is also significant somebody just won a grammy somebody again money y'all like y'all folks y'all folks are i heard naacp somebody here is blocked okay because they were playing games they were playing games also with a third party or something. These folks be talking a lot of shit. I'm hearing a lot of chatter. I'm hearing a lot of talking. This is a lot of talking, but I feel like most of it is good. But where there's good, what? There's bad. Somewhere got to be equal. Some good, bad, good versus evil, whatever the case may be. It's just, it's just, this is a lot of animosity towards one person. You are one person, bro. Whoever you is, you don't have nobody helping you with anything. That's why if you are doing something by yourself, this is resonating with you, period. Okay, somebody name Sade. These folks losing. They losing everything around them, bro. Only because of what they did to you. Only because of what they said about you. These hoes and niggas can't even say some foul ass shit on your name. And spirit finna get them they shit. They gonna get knocked upside the head. 
They can even think some negative shit about you and they're going to get karma. Ain't that crazy, bro? It's all about your the intentions that you put out into the world, man. And somebody is extra triggered, okay? But whatever this is, congratulations, you guys. You have unlocked something. Dirt digging. This is you digging deep within yourself, bro. Somebody, so I got to take me back to my roots. Y'all folk getting it in right here, okay? So pay attention definitely because spirit going to give you a download. You could literally be walking. You could be running. You could be swimming. You could be dancing. You can be... Shit, you could even be fucking. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, spirit gonna give you something and it's it's gonna stick to you. You dig a real shoe? Where, wherever you are, whatever you doing, make sure you don't forget because they're gonna tell you. The Holy Spirit is definitely gonna reveal something to somebody. Okay? So I'm gonna leave it here, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine. Best of luck to you with whatever this is. Remember that God loves you and so do I. I'll see you in the next reading. Bye, guys.